Uh, hi, I'm Jared Drake, and I'm going to talk to you about how to make low-budget movies. First thing you need to do in making a low-budget movie is define how much money you do actually have. Um, that is going to be your budget maximum. Then you take your script, um, or you develop your script, and you say, all right, we have $2,000. How are we going to shoot this script for $2,000? What can we do? Well, the monster you have may have to go, or you may have to get really creative. Things you can do to cut costs is one, ask, ask crew to work for free, uh, sometimes for credit or maybe a portion of the back end. Uh, crew will dedicate their man, their hours and their labor for free. Shoot on digital tape versus shooting on film. Um, digital is much cheaper uh, to make movies on. Learn how to edit and edit the movie yourself. Post-production costs an arm and a leg in filmmaking. And if you know how to edit and post a movie yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. In approaching the material and approaching the script, just try and keep your eyes open for resources you have available. Um, think about going back to your high school and talking to your old teachers. Maybe you can use uh, the lab there as a doctor's office versus paying 500 bucks for a doctor's office location for the day. Um, think about the locations you have available to you and maybe customize the script for those locations. Now one thing to keep in mind as you're putting together your low budget movie is is there an opportunity or a possibility that some known actor may come and play a part in your low budget movie? Actors regardless of how successful they are and how known they are they're all looking for parts that interest them that they can go practice their craft and play a part that they really want to do versus part that their agent tells them they should do you know they're all looking to explore and grow as artists and with their craft having an actor like that on board is great for many reasons obviously they're great at what they do so they're going to make your movie that much better and bring their craft and their knowledge and their performance to your film which is great um, and down the line they'll help you sell the movie just not directly but having their name involved will go a long way with distributors and getting your movie sold um, so keep that in mind as you're going out and putting things together when thinking about making a low-budget movie you can literally go tell any story for ten dollars for the cost of a DV tape I can go take this camera right now and say I'm going to reshoot Titanic and I'll go in my backyard and I'll get a little boat and I'll mirror the or I'll, I'll take figurines and I'll say the the voices of Jack and whoever and the girl Kate Winslet's character or whatever and I will shoot Titanic uh, anybody can do that so you can make a movie for nothing the problem comes in or, or, or the discussion, the, what, what you need to answer for yourself is where do I cross the line into making a low budget movie just for the sake of making a movie and completely destroy the story? Um, a lot of low budget films do that and that's why few of them ever get sold in my opinion. You know, they don't, you have to set the bar and you have to say, look, if we go under this mark and we cut our budget below this, we're going to make a piece of garbage that's going to end up being a waste of time, a waste of effort, a waste of money. Um, it's just a complete waste across the board. So you got to be real honest with yourself up front about when do you actually cross the line and go into the world of just wasting your effort.